coffee is originated from Ethiopia. One goat herder saw his goats ate some berries from certain tree and became very energetic and couldn't sleep at night. Later people tried that berries for keeping alert and evening prayer, coffee cultivation started in Arabian area and spread it to Europe in 17th century and America in 18th century. Is coffee able to boost energy? Coffee is natural stimulant. It can stimulate central nervous system and can fight fatigue and boost energy. It may improve concentration and focusing. It is possible because it alters the level of neurotransmitters in the brain. Can coffee make your DNA stronger? Anti-cancer. Dark roasted coffee can decrease breakage of DNA strand which occur naturally, this breakage may lead to cancer or tumor if it is not repaired. Coffee may decrease the breakage of DNA strands and make DNA stronger, so it reduces the risk of cancer especially, liver and colorectal cancer. Is coffee good for type 2 diabetes, roasting or brewing cause chlorogenic acid transformed to quinides? Quinides can alter blood glucose level, chlorogenic acid also transport blood glucose to muscle. Muscle can use blood glucose directly and it reduce blood glucose level, drinking coffee also increases hormone in cretin which stimulates insulin secretion and lowers blood glucose level. Is coffee good for heart health? A study in 2017 found that drinking 3 to 5 cups of coffee every day may reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease such as hypertension, high cholesterol, and stroke by 15%. A study in 2018 showed, for those people with history of heart attack, drinking coffee does not increase the risk of another heart attack. Is coffee good for liver? Studies showed that coffee may reduce the risk of gallstone, alcoholic cirrhosis, hepatic fibrosis with hepatitis C, fatty liver, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Coffee is also known for its benefit for neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, a review from 11 observational studies with more than 29,000 people also found that people with drinking coffee had lower risk of Alzheimer's disease. People who regularly consumed caffeine had a significantly lower risk of developing Parkinson's disease and coffee consumption also slowed the progression of Parkinson's disease over time. Help depression and suicidal ideation. One review of seven studies, each cup of coffee per day was related an 8% lower risk of depression. Another study found that drinking at least four cups of coffee per day significantly lower risk of depression, compared with drinking just one cup per day. One study over more than 200,000 people showed that drinking coffee was linked to a lower risk of death by suicide. Caution, caffeine may decrease iron absorption, high consumption may cause jitterness, anxiety, insomnia, and palpitation, drinking too much coffee during pregnancy may lead miscarriage or lower birth weight. Question 1. Does dark roasted coffee have more caffeine than light roasted? Answer is no. Lighter roasted one has slightly higher caffeine than dark roasted. Question 2. Does decaffeinated coffee also have health benefit? Decaf coffee offers similar health benefits as caffeinated coffee. It could be good option if you are sensitive to caffeine. Question 3. What is right amount of coffee? According to the dietary guidelines for Americans, it's safe for most women to drink 3 to 5 cups of coffee a day with a maximum 400 mg of caffeine. Caffeine content may vary depending on the type of coffee. However, one cup of coffee has average 95 mg of caffeine. Question 4. Then what are the problems? The extra calories, sugar, saturated fat from whipped cream and flavored syrup may offset the health benefit of basic black coffee. 